And we're back. Howdy y'all. This is Ethan Bonreal, back at it again with more Earthbound, and last time we were here, we made our way into the Monotoli building. I also talked a little bit about the stereotype that gay gamers are basically just horny nerds that want boyfriends, and said that, you know, that's not exactly true. What really is happening is that being gay is very lonely and isolating sometimes, and that a lot of us just use video games as a way to find friends. So, this time around, we're going to make our way further in the Monotoli building. If you don't remember, Mr. Monotoli is at the top, and he has some evil schemes going on, so we're going to walk up there and slap him around so he learns to chill out. And that's about it. I don't necessarily have that much planned for this video. So, I think we are going to grind a little bit on screen, just because Jeff is pretty close to leveling up. And then also, I'm pretty sure Ness learns a new psychic power pretty soon, and I'd like him to have that. So that everyone's in tip-top shape to move on with the game. But, uh, how are y'all doing? I'm doing just fine. I'm not recording videos as frequently as I used to, in part because I'm busy, and in part because I'm a little bit depressed. Um, and I, I mean, what else is new? That's, that's basically, <laughs> that's basically the name of this channel, is Ultra Gay Depression Waka Waka Comedy Hour. But, you know, I think that part of what's going on is that I'm actually just very busy applying for these fucking jobs, because I really do not want to be working retail for Christmas. I, oh my god, I do not want to be working retail for Christmas, but it's a possibility that I have to mentally and emotionally count for so that I don't get overwhelmed if things don't go the way I want them to be, which is part of the forbidden self-caring um, package. Sometimes you just have to accept that things don't go the way you want them to, and that that's not the end of the world. Which is something that I had to really grow into, you know, I'm a very anxious person. And sometimes people don't read me like that, I think, because I'm pretty confident in my day-to-day -day life, or I appear to be, but a lot of that requires a lot of mental effort on my part. Like, I'm constantly talking to myself and reflecting on things so that I don't fall apart at the seams, basically. And I'm not saying, like, I'm falling apart at the seams right now, but, like, I'm just, like, a really, really nervous person. Um, and I... I deal with it by trying to talk myself through my my problems, basically, and help myself deal with things. Which is why my videos are the way they are, I guess, because I'm really reflecting on my life experiences to help improve my own life. Which is pretty cool to me. That's, that's something I, I really enjoy, actually. I like self-reflection a lot, and that's something I look for in a romantic partner, and friends, too. Um, it really... It actually breaks my heart a little bit, because a lot of my gay friends actually just refuse to engage in self-reflection, because it hurts, basically. And what I mean by that is that, basically, sometimes it's not fun confront confronting, like, truths about yourself, like, you know, I'm doing things the way I'm doing them, because... I'm scared about my future, or, you know, I have trouble doing these things, and that's okay. It's really hard to be okay with your human weakness, basically. Um, and a lot of us, when we think about that, we just think we're bad people, instead of being able to think about ways that we can um, deal with those problems. And I just have a lot of trouble getting my friends or encouraging my friends to do that for themselves, which makes me a little bit sad. But I also understand that not everyone deals with things the same way I deal with them. Hey, there's a robot in here. Rattle, rattle, dwower, squeak, tweet, tweet, clank. So this is the boss of the area, and it is actually an extremely amusing boss. The reason for that is that it has a total of seven actions it can do. Five of those actions don't do anything, one of those actions one-shots you, and the other action paralyzes you. 
And when I say one shot, I mean if you do not have any defensive abilities up, it will kill you, especially Jeff, in one fucking hit. And it is so funny, um, because there's really nothing you can do. You just have to deal with it, fam. And that's just a very earthbound move, just that spontaneity. So we're going to get Ness beefed up here, and then we are just going to wail on this boss, because that's really how you get through this fight. So we're going to use this Sudden Guts pill, and then does Jeff have any food for himself in here? We'll use the Trout Yogurt, actually. And there we go. So there we go, and we're going to use one more Sudden Guts pill, and that should increase Ness's critical hit rate enough so that he is able to basically fuck this robot up a lot. There we go. It has pretty high defense, too. So... Oh my god, why are you dodging? Um, I guess I should keep talking about what I'm doing. Um, I'm trying to basically move forward in my life, and it's really hard, because really my, my gate for progress in my life right now is, for one, motivating myself, and then two... Oh my god, Jeff is murdered. Well, um, that's what I'm talking about. The boss just does that sometimes, and you have to deal with it. But luckily, Ness is barely alive, so we're going to heal him. And hope that Ness can get through the rest of this fight by himself. Well, I'm paralyzed. Okay, now we're unparalyzed. And... I, I just, I need a job, basically, to move forward with my life. I can't, I can't do anything else without it. Well, that's not true. I can... Uh, hello? All of a sudden, some guys rushed into the room. It was the Runaway Five. Lucky quickly ducked behind the robot. I flipped the switch, and it stopped. Haha, <laughs> what a loser robot. It was so easy to stop. That was quick thinking. The clumsy robot stopped moving. And we won the boss fight, or Ness did, because Jeff tripped and fell dead. Which, I mean, that's cool. Good for you, Jeff. He will hang out as a ghost back here for a bit. I guess I could talk to the Runaway Five. The room next door seems suspicious somehow. And that means I want to be there. Oh shit, stop, that's enough. Please stop. I give up, I really do. Hey, he healed us. Um, is he, is he shivering? Or is he shivering? What the fuck? Look at my skinny arms, thin body and gray hair. I've become so weak since I lost the Manny Manny statue. I'm so sorry that I kidnapped Paula. I haven't done anything to her. Paula's a nice girl. Paula, return to Ness. I'm so sorry I've created so much trouble for you. Ness, you finally made it here. I'm fine. I believed you'd come and save me. Mr. Monotoli isn't really a bad person. Take some time to listen to him. And we got Paula back. So, if you thought she had problems staying alive before, it's it's really gotten a lot worse, honestly. She is just perpetually behind us, and we have to deal with it. But anyway, we're about to get some plot dropped on us, so perk up your ears. The Manny Manny statue creates an illusion, it attracts evil spirits, and weakens your heart. The power scared me so much, I hid the statue in the warehouse at Jackie's Cafe. I often went there to pray. That's not weird. Cryptic words appeared to me while I was in an illusion. Ness, your name appeared in the cryptic messages. Stop Ness and do so by your own hand. Or, don't let them go to Summers. Or, make sure they don't know anything of the pyramid. I don't fully understand the messages, but someone obviously doesn't want you to go to Summers. Which means we should go there. Evil Gygus or something, I could hear the name. Anyway, the evil side would be in trouble if you visit Summers. So, on the contrary, you should definitely roll up in there. Especially because they don't want you to make it there. Would you like me to hear... No, I don't want to hear this story again. Summers is located across the ocean. Take my helicopter. I'll open the door to my heliport. Okay. That's interesting. I guess we will go ahead and roll up out of here. You must go on. Ness, this is your destiny. Paula, it's time we say goodbye. Take care. I feel like this is kind of a boring episode, but, you know, I just gotta... I gotta plug through. I really need to move forward in this game. Hello? Helicopter?
helicopter. Where are you going, friend? Um, goodbye, question mark. I guess it's gone. Okay, well, I'll see you later. Oh, it's Porky, XD. Ness, you pinheaded idiot. You're just a half step too slow. I'm gonna get out of here. Since Monotoli has become a plain old man again, I have no more use for him. This helicopter will really come in handy. Looks like you're a world-class loser again. Yuck, 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 yuck. And Pokey proves he's an asshole again. I'm surprised this actually isn't a photo location, because this would be a pretty neat shot. I also hope this ends up being my video thumbnail, but we'll see, because I refuse to take screenshots. So... We are going to walk back into the Montoli room, I guess that's what his room is called, and tell him what the fuck happened. Pokey took the helicopter. I hope he's okay. Well now what? What the fuck do we do? The answer is that the runaway fo- oh shit, wait. Hello, Paula? Um, Paula, what's going on? Oh, I was a little dizzy, but now I'm okay. To get to Summers, we need to go back to Three. Well, she just got some plot beamed directly into her head, so... Now we know what to do. You guys did a lot while I was in the bathroom. You want to go to Three as soon as possible? We can take you to Three on our tour bus. I'll get the bus and wait for you just outside the building. This is a little bit annoying. We actually have to walk our asses out of here, but whatevs, I'm fine. Um, this gives you an excuse, if you skipped any of the rooms while you were exploring, um, to go back and get items you missed out on. But we already got everything that I want to get, so we're going to go ahead and piece the fuck out of here. Hello. Oh my god, it's probably my dad. Hello, are you? Oh, it's Apple Kid. I'm a real genius. In fact, I know I'm a genius. Why? Well, I discovered the primary enemy of you and all of humanity. We have to fight and defeat this being. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We need a phase distorter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's cool. Okay. Well, that was a lot of words he just said, so I didn't read it. But what he was saying was basically he's advancing the plot for us while we uh, are busy saving the day. So that's good. He's... Helping us multitask a little bit here. And part of the reason I skipped that dialogue is because I actually do not have my, I don't have my glasses on and I'm having a little bit of eye strain right now, which is my own fault, honestly, but whatevs. Alright, so we are going to go further down. I think I'm going to cut the video pretty soon. I want this to be a short video just because I'm tired <laughs> a little bit. And this silence is me being like, is this really a good video? Do I want to restart it? But I need I need to not restart it. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go with it. So we're gonna crawl in the runaway five tour bus and move on to three. And almost murder that person. Good lord, we almost hit the shit out of him. So I think once we get to three, we're gonna we are really gonna cut the video there, and then I'm gonna you know probably think up a nice topic to talk about. I'm not gonna post this video on Reddit like I've posted my previous ones, just because um, I don't think this is anything in particular that I think people would be interested in. I also don't want to be like that person who just links all their shit and never interacts with like the community that they're a part of. Like, it's really annoying seeing someone just, like, jump, or not jump, dump their mixtapes or, like, their music or, like, their art or something in, like, a place and then, like, not really interact with anyone else because it's, like, I don't, I don't want to be that person. I, I want to be a part of, oh, I don't want to say a community because I think I'm honestly a little bit too old to be super ingrained in an online community. Um, and what I mean by that is, you know, I've, I've seen enough long-distance relationships with gays and then been in long-distance love affairs, not relationships, but love affairs, where it's just like, you know, I don't really need this. Like, I'm a, <laughs> not to be toxic, I'm an adult, um, and I'm not going to really get anything out of it that is going to substantially improve my life. But anyway, we made it to Threed, and... He is sorry he couldn't do more for us.
but this is actually going to be the last time that we see the Runaway 5, so... We should say goodbye. And what he was hinting at was the fact that we left something very important in Threed, which we will talk about in the next video. So, I want to thank y'all for watching. I hope y'all have a good one. I'm going to go... I don't know if I'm going to upload this tonight or tomorrow. I'll probably go to sleep first and then upload it, because I'm real sleepy, y'all. So, I want y'all to have a good night. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.